Hi, Scorpio. Welcome to your new love reading. This is Mary. This is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So, Scorpio, this is still the Singles Love Reading. I changed the title from Singles to New Love Reading. So, this is intended for singles who's wondering what will my, my next encounter be like, my next date, my next uh, significant person or relationship or love or whatever here. So, um, if you are in a connection with somebody but you're still single, um, you can still watch this. Also, I do offer love connection readings on my channel. All the main ones are up. Um, so you can find the uh, links to those in the description box below. You can find your love in general playlist. Go to the love playlist and you'll find the uh, love readings there. So feel free to watch those also. Uh, but this is intended for singles wondering about new love coming in. But keep in mind, I mean, it is possible to pick up on a past connection. So I guess that could happen. So keep that in mind. But it, my intention in going in this is for new. So we'll see what comes out here. So I hope everyone's doing well, staying uh, safe and healthy. So this is a sun, moon, rising, Venus, male or female, general collective reading, not a private reading. And take the energies how they uh, resonate for you, I guess. Um, and we'll see what we get for here uh, for you here, Scorpio. So in the uh, past readings, I did do uh, the energy of this person, uh, how, where you may meet them and then a time frame and then what kind of connection so i'm doing it a little bit different you can let me know in the description box below what you think i'm still going to look at their energy but then i'm going to look at how you'll feel about each other what obstacles challenges they may be what the advice guidance possible outcome could be and see if we could pick up on um, maybe a time frame or like where or um, how you may meet them that could come up so maybe, maybe not. Keep that in mind. And I'm just going to use the court cards, uh, kings and queens, as to the signs so it's not so confusing because otherwise we have all the signs on the table anyway. So they could be literally anybody. So keep that in mind. So I'm going to pull the oracles first and see what we get. So with this deck here, I'm going to pull one for like their overall energy, what their energy is like. This is their spirit soul energy. This will be their love energy. So we'll kind of get like almost the overall energy of this person. And then we'll start with the tarot. And uh, a lot of stuff down below in the description box, Scorpio. Feel free to check that out. And if you're new, check out my channel, like what you see. Feel free to uh, subscribe, hit the bell, all that great stuff. Be greatly appreciated. Give it a thumbs up. Um, get about four or five readings a month. So let's see here. For Scorpio, what for new love coming in? Someone rising Venus, male or female for the general collective. Incoming person, new person. Oh, that's just too many. So one. All right. Pull these first. So what is this person's soul, spirit energy like? For Scorpio, new love, incoming love, new person. Those inquiring about new love, Scorpios, male, female, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Take that one. All right. So let's see what their love energy is like. Scorpio, incoming love, new love, new person. What will this person's love energy be like for Scorpio? Scorpio, okay, I guess that one. I usually shuffle a little bit more, but we're taking that one. All right, let's see what we have. We have six here. Uh, this is the six of wands, I believe. So this is believe and succeed. Yep, six of wands. This is a very fiery, passionate energy. This is someone who could be very successful. Um, they could get a lot of attention also, because usually in the six of wands, in the regular tarot, you see the man on the horse uh, getting all the attention, and he's, you know, receiving accolades and attention, and he's, you know, just come back from winning the battle, and he's very, you know, victorious. So this is someone who could be very, very successful in business and life. Um, they could be someone that gets a lot of attention also. All right, so let's see. We have High Priestess. You have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teaching. So this could be somebody who's very intuitive, who is very spiritual and believes in all that, believes in mediums, they believe in psychics, they believe in that spiritual um, intuition um, kind of energy. They could be an empath. They could be, you know, anything to do with the spiritual realm. And I'm kind of getting that energy here. And six is a very healing, balancing number. So let's see what we have here. Rest and relaxation is essential. We all have a fundamental need to take a, to take breaks. 
So we have 42 here, which is six. Again, with the healing and balancing energy. So this is their love energy. Rest and relaxation is essential. So I feel like even though when they're in relationships, they still like their like time for themselves. I feel like they need they like to be independent, you know, in their own right, and they like you know time for themselves. Also, um, I don't think this is someone that's going to be like needy, clingy, uh, or anything like that. I'm getting very independent energy. So if you're someone who is needy and clingy and likes to be with your person like 24-7, then I don't know if this would be a good energy match because I'm thinking, you know, getting the energy where they like, you know, they like their alone time. They like to, you know, they may like to take a lot of naps. They may, you know, that kind of energy. They may like camping. I don't know why I got that energy. They may like to, you know, once in a while just go off on their own and just go camping out in the middle of nowhere by themselves, that kind of energy. So it's depending, you know, like if, certain times you're willing to give them their space, their freedom to go do what they want to do. Um, Cause I'm getting like the water energy here with the boat. So they may want to go by the lake, go fishing, go camping, but they may want to do it alone. So not to say that, you know, they're not loving, caring, nurturing, giving in a relationship. I feel like they are, but I feel like they like their me time. They like their alone time and do, you know, able to do what they want to do when they want to kind of like when they want to do it, if they can, and um, I think they like their alone time, too. All right. So let's see here. Let's clarify this energy for you, Scorpio. You, Scorpio. So I feel like this is somebody who um, goes on gut its instincts. And that's probably how they got successful. Like, they listen to their gut, their intuition, their instincts. And they always follow through with which they knew. And they could always, uh, they could have all, if I could speak, they could have um, had a lot of spiritual leaders or, well, not leaders, but people help them, guide them, like tarot readers or just mediums or something like that to help guide them to their success in life also is kind of what I'm getting. Wow. Okay. All right. So... Let's see here. All right. So let's clarify this energy for you, Scorpio. Let's clarify their energy more into their energy of a new person, new love coming into Scorpio. What is this energy? Can we clarify for Scorpio? Five of Pentacles energy. All right. I'm going to lay them all out so I can read it as a whole. And the Five of Cups. Yikes. Okay, what else here? And the six. Okay, so now we got the six. So we've gone to the five to the six. So they may have had a hard life in the past. That's kind of what I'm getting. Now we have the uh, Queen of Wands, King or Queen. Doesn't matter here. So this could be uh, Aries energy. So it could be Aries. Let's get one more. Let's get one more. As you see, like this leader, this business owner. It could be a business owner owner. Or something like that like paying their workers you know so they definitely could own their own business or you know something or they could work in finances or something like that so I feel like they may have come from like a very oppressive past like childhood is kind of what I'm getting we are they were poor it was rough um, they may live like in the outskirts of town or you know something like that they didn't have a lot at all they could have been like a family of like four or five, but at times they only had enough to feed like three. It's kind of what I'm getting. So, but now, now they're in status where they can give and take equally. They can give back. They can, um, cause I'm getting six and six here, healing balance. So, and usually, you know, this picture depicts the six of pentacles, one giving more to the other. You no, know, he's giving more more to one than the other, but I feel like this is somebody that is like an equal, not equal opportunity kind of person where they want, you know, to be other, others to be successful. They want others to believe they can be successful. So if they own their own business, I feel like they probably pay their employees well. 
And this Queen of Wands energy, King of Queen, is somebody who can be an entrepreneur, who can be very creative, um, exciting, fiery, passionate kind of energy. And the Wands can be very spiritual, intuitive, you know, as well as water. So let's see. Let's get one more. Six of Cups. Wow. Yeah, so that just clarifies over here with the childhood, things of the past. They, I feel like this person rose out of a very oppressive childhood to a leader, a business owner. They fought their way out of that oppression. And I feel like they went back and gave back to their neighborhood, to their childhood, um, to their childhood where they were raised. I think they went back and they gave back to the community. That's kind of what I'm feeling. They could have opened up a business back, you know, home where they were born, raised. Because they wanted to give people that had the same life they had an opportunity for a better life. Wow. This is somebody that I feel wants to make a difference in the world. To make things better for others. Because they came from a very rough, rough upbringing childhood. Because we have 5-5, five, five, which is 10 which is completions and endings and then a new beginning. So they, because we got six, 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 we got four sixes here. So they've done their healing. They're well balanced now. You know, that six, six of uh, wands energy that almost reminds me of the six of swords where you're getting in the boat and you're going forward and you're leaving the past behind, all the negative energy behind and moving forward to a better place. So I feel like they are in a more healing, balanced place now, but they have not forgotten their childhood and I think they went back or they went back and they started their own business there and they're giving back to the community so the community or people that are in oppressive states like they were once in have an opportunity to better themselves wow wow Scorpio okay this person wow they like had that inner knowing inner calling and they knew what they wanted to do since childhood. They knew they had to get out of that life. They knew they had to do something better. They knew they had to become somebody so they could help others get out of a situation that they were once in. Wow. Okay. So let's see. Let's see here. Let's see here how you would feel about this person, Scorpio. Judgment call. That's your energy, Scorpio. All right, so you're going to have to make a decision about this person. <laughs> and this is the angel. I'm not sure what angel that is. Is that Gabriel? I'm not sure. Uh, blowing the trumpet to try to bring the soulmates together. Yeah, it's about uh, resurrection, judgment call, making a decision. So we have the Knight of Swords. So this is like rushing. This could move very, very quickly. This... Or you are moving towards them very quickly. Or they're rushing into you quickly. Three pentacles and wanting to work on it here. Could be somebody you work with. Or you did work with in the past. Or something like that. Or working with in the community. So you may know them already. But maybe it's just like a friend. It's not really like a love situation. Then all of a sudden it's like turning into that. It's like these feelings rush in out of nowhere and you're like, what the heck is this? So now you have to make a decision about this person. Like, where did this come from? Feeling like, oh my God, I think this person may be a soulmate of some kind. And, and you know, the Knight of Swords are rushing in or I feel like it could be this just rushing over you. Like, I don't get this, you know. All right, so let's see. Let's see how they would feel about you, Scorpio, Scorpio. Ooh. Well, we got a lot of passionate energy here. So they're going to be very attracted to you. Very. If you've been, if you've known this person, or even if you don't, or it's something new you're doing in the community. And this could be like after quarantine where, you know, communities are getting back out there. Maybe there's new development developments in communities where there's new things uh, being done for the communities or something like that. So this could be someone you kind of work with in like a new setting for the community or I don't know, something like that. And maybe, maybe very, very uh, attracted to you, like very attracted to you. Or if you've known this person 
they're very attracted to you, but they haven't told you, like, you know, but they also see you as like Emperor Empress here energy. Or this is clarifying they are Emperor Empress, you know, a business owner, entrepreneur, or something like that. But they could also see you in this light. Someone very beautiful, attractive, stable, grounded, smart, practical, passionate, you know, nurturing, caring, giving, you know, all that energy of the Empress. Wow. And it's like, I'm getting like this devil looking at the Empress like, wow, wow. <laughs> The fool, so wow, they're gonna feel like a fool around you. They're gonna wanna jump right in, take a leap of faith. They're gonna jump, wanna jump right into that. <laughs> Your energy, I feel. So maybe kind of like a mutual feelings here. I feel like you're gonna like feel like out of nowhere, like all of a sudden it just rushes over you, like wow, this could be a soulmate wanting to work on it or you could like end up working with them in the future maybe like in the fall or like into winter because we do have the winter over energy over here wow so yeah it's gonna be a lot of uh, attraction on their part too but they also are gonna see you in high regard as somebody who is very very um attractive stable you know that empress energy and they're gonna feel like a bumbling fool around you i feel Oh, okay, so let's see. So yeah, it's kind of like how you may meet either uh, something around like working with something like in the community, if that makes sense for you, or something around a fall, winter time, um, getting outside, something outside, near water, boats, maybe. Although I think those are coffins, so uh, maybe around a cemetery. I don't know, it's kind of weird. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of what I see. Or something with dogs here. We have a dog here. All right. So it could be walking your dog in the park. Or they could be. All right. So. Let's see. Let's see. I feel like they. They may approach you first. All right, so let's see, Scorpio, what blockages or challenges, blockages or challenges, listening, gut intuition, higher knowing. I feel like they have that energy, but you uh, may have some trouble listening to your gut, your intuition about this or somebody here. Divinely guided energy here. So this is a divinely guided connection, something meant to be something going better but there may be an energy here of someone not listening to their intuition their gut feeling just going with the flow as with the wheel and may block this may block this wheel from turning in the right direction all right so what else tower so something might blow up here or surprise a revelation a shock a change a shift Let's get a couple more. Okay, so <laughs> someone coming forward with love. So the block may be here, somebody, and it may, I think it may be them, may approach you, but it may backfire in their face because you may, even though you kind of like feel something, you may block it. The high priestess, like, Instead of just going with the flow and listening to your intuition, being like, yeah, okay, let's see where it goes. You may kind of block it and like blow it up and backfire it in their face. Or vice versa here. Yeah. Nah. Knight of Swords. No, the Page of Swords energy. Page of Swords. So it's like putting the sword up and blocking it. So you may actually block them. And that may be a child challenge or obstacle here. Somebody won't listen to their gut intuition, which will block this wheel from turning in the right direction. Someone's going to offer love, but it's going to backfire in their face because someone's going to put their sword up probably and say no. Instead of just going with the flow and see what, where, what, you know, what happens here for some reason. I'm just looking at like this high priestess here. She's got to look on her face like, oh my gosh, what is this? Like feeling scared. Somebody may just do that because of feeling scared. 
or nervous or fear for some reason. Maybe like a tense, especially with the devil in the tower and with the judgment here. And with, you know, especially if these feelings rush over you, you may feel like it's too strong, intense all at once. So it may scare somebody here and uh, may block this love from moving forward out of fear of just the connection. All right. So, wow. Let's see what the advice guidance is. <sighs> so we have the eight of swords. So mental entrapment here. Somebody stuck in their head, but we do have the six of swords. So this is getting get to, to get unstuck out of your head and leave that energy behind. And this is moving forward to a better direction. Here's that healing balance. And I said at the beginning that the Six of Wands reminds me of the Six of Swords of getting in the boat and moving forward and leaving negative energy behind, going to more healing balance place. So there is the energy here for that. Someone can get out of their head about this connection. Let's see advice guidance here. This does have the energy to move forward to peace, harmony, and balance. Okay, so now we have the Nine of Pentacles and the Sun. Wow. So, no, Nine of Pentacles is an independent energy. So I feel like, you know, we're all single here. We're stable, we're grounded in our own right. Uh, take We could take care of, my, of ourselves here. But this is a divine soulmate energy here. Happiness, joy, success, victory, enlightenment, healing. Uh, happy home and family. I mean, everything, everything positive with the sun. The sun is here to say, this can be your ray of sunshine, your sunlight. You can go to a place of peace, harmony, and balance, but somebody needs to get out of their head first and get over, you know, well, I'm fine on my own. You know, I don't need anyone or, you know, not ready for a relationship. But the sun is here to say, you can have the sun energy if you want it. Wow. So let's get a couple more before I go over the bottom of the deck. So, so far for the signs, we only have the Queen of Wands so far. So um, that could be Aries. Only going by Kings and Queens, so that's not so confusing. Because otherwise we have every sign here anyway, so they literally could be any sign. Yeah, someone, that, like I said, is going to block this. <laughs> I feel like it may be you, Scorpio. Or it could be vice versa. Someone's going to be indecisive and block this stuff in their head. But spirits here say you have this opportunity to move forward to a wonderful place in the sunshine if you choose to. Yeah, discontent, melancholy about love. Not sure about taking this love offer. Because this is a soulmate. This is a soulmate, Scorpio. Right on the sun. Oh my gosh. But waiting, you're going to make this person wait, Scorpio. <laughs> you're going to make this soulmate wait. Yeah, they're very stable, grounded, practical, secure. They're trustworthy. They're sincere. They have this pentacle they want to give you. Again, they could be, you know, a business owner with the pentacle energy. So now we have the king of pentacles, which could be Virgo. So we have Virgo and Aries. Or they could be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or Leo, Sagittarius. But they're sincere, they're stable, they're grounded. They want to care for you, nurture, you know, give give you their pentacle here. And you're going to make them wait. <laughs> you make them wait because you are stuck in your head about this, indecisive and unsure about the love offer. Wow, okay. And we do have wish fulfillment here. Wish fulfillment, happiness and joy. Knight of Wands. So move, they're coming in very fiery, passionately um, excited about this because they want to go all the way. This could even like lead to marriage, long-term commitment, happy home and family, family dynamic and legacy, you know, being abundant and wealthy. And here's the pentacle they want to give you. They want to give you this pentacle. Will you accept their pentacle, Scorpio? Because they want to drive this forward to success, victory, balance. They want to come together with you. They want to go out. They want to take you out. They want to, you know, have good times with you. But we got the moon in reverse. So I don't even know how they got reversed. But this, you know, they're not going to keep this a secret. They're not going to keep a secret here uh, about how they feel, what they want, which will probably leave you conflicted here with the five of wands. You may kind of shut them out, fight them off. But here's the Ace of Swords here to say, you know, divine clarity here coming in to say, this is your soulmate. This is your soulmate. 
Will you accept their pedicle? That's the truth, clarity, a successful new beginning, but you may fight them off. They're not going to be uh, shy about how they feel. They want to take you out. They want to pick you up, take you out, drive this forward. They want to give you their pentacle to so the ten of pentacles, coming in fiery and passionate to wish fulfillment, happiness, and joy. They want to overindulge in you, <laughs> Scorpio. For some reason, though, I don't know why you, you know, or vice versa, you feel like, I don't know, scared of the connection. Maybe you never had a connection like this before. And it's scaring you. Like, it just comes out of nowhere over you. And you're like, oh, my God, I don't know. You could go through, like, a big spiritual awakening or something like that or something. And it just, I think, it may scare daylights out of you. And you're not sure what to think about uh, this connection. Okay, Scorpio, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.